thrill me. Hey guys, it's Chuck the Stuttering Nerd back with another action figure uh, pickups video for the for, for the month of June. But I'm also including my horror stuff because I didn't get a lot of horror at all, really. So, um, so it's gonna this this month it's going to be combined. So, um, but yeah, let's uh, let's start this. So, horror wise. I found for two dollars and I think it was thirty-eight cents. I picked up the Demogorgon from Stranger Things. Uh, Target had him on a on a clearance, so um, he's a tiny one. He'll fit well with my GI Joe stuff, stuff in my Marvel uh, universe figures. So that's actually pretty cool. And also, I got in. My night, my night of the creeps co collector set from a uh, Scream fa Factory, uh, which also I forgot to pull it out, but it has the extra slipcover and <laughs> convenient, huh? The collector's edition Blu-ray with the regular slipcover and uh, actually it's over there, but a. Uh, a poster so I mainly bought it though for this guy here I mean come on it's a mini um, Tom Atkins man I mean come on that is so cool so and the um, set let's see it's got a couple cool special features I used to have the other um, special blu-ray thing from um, I forget the actual company uh, Maybe been Anchor Bay. I don't think it was Anchor Bay. But anyways, I, I, I gave that to my roommate, the She Nerd. So, pretty excited about getting those. But, um, that's pretty much it for horror. So, it's why I'm combining these. Um, also, I'm not sure if I had this in my last video. I can't remember if I bought it before or after that. But because I do my action figure pickups every two months... Um, I'm going to throw this one in there just in case, but Married with Children reaction. Uh, but, sorry, Amazon had it on sale for like 6 bucks, six ninety nine. It's Married with Children. I don't think that they've ever had any action figures made before, So, and I don't consider pop figures action figures. So, I had to have this. I mean, I love that show. That show is probably my in my top four shows of all time. So, uh, probably my top three shows. So, but let's move on to the Marvel Legends. And most of the Marvel Legends, I'm wearing the appropriate shirt if you can see it. X-Men. So, but my girlfriend picked up, um, because we found him out in the wild, Weapon X Wolverine. Um, she knows that Wolverine is one of my favorite he is my 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 favorite character of all time, my favorite comic com, 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 comic book character of all time. So she knew that this was uh, it would it would mean a lot to me, and um, I was actually broke. So she picked it up for four of me because she loves me and she's awesome. I love you, Liz. Next, another X Men. Finally, I have Jubilee. So, last video I picked up Beast. Needed Jubilee. Definitely needed her. So, it goes hand in hand with, with a Wolverine also. But also, the Raging Cajun Gambit. Remy LeBeau. So, I love me my Gambit. Um, one of the few comic books that I reacquired was his first uh, uh, appearance. Uh, actually, both. Uh, his first uh, appearance in his uh, first cameo also, which was I think Uncanny X-Men annual I don't know I don't remember, maybe 14 um, but his first kind of what is considered his first appearance is X-Men 266 or 268 but I have it, I, I know that so, damn man my, uh, my, comma, my comic book street cred's gone, but anyways yeah, Gambit, very excited I got the Toy Biz one, but that one just looks way better. So, also picked up the Amazon exclusive 
Magneto with Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. And I got the basic Scarlet Witch from the All Father Wave, uh, actually up there with my Avengers. This one has such a better head Mola sculpt though. Uh, paint job, I like them both, so I'm not gonna bitch there. But the head, head, head sculpt is just beautiful. So I wanted Quicksilver. I mainly bought this for Quicksilver and Magneto. Um, very happy to have Quicksilver there. But Magneto, I've got the toy, toy biz one, and I have the um. Uh, one from series three, I think, of X Men, which was the um, like black costume, black dark purple costume, whatever. Um, the Toy Biz one holds up still, man. And for a long time, I gave him my Wonder Man's uh, like a uh, uh, power thing, you know, power power uh, uh, effects. Well, with this one, they got they they also gave him the Wonder Man power effects. So it's pretty funny, um, and I did that long before they announced this, guys, so, but I'm so happy. And the different head sculpts, and that one from the Series 3, from the Wave 3, uh, comes with an un, uh, un, uh, masked, uh head. A, a head without a, a hel 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 helmet on. A helmetless head, there we go, I know words. Uh, so, yeah, they knew what they were doing with this. I'm so happy to have this. So, especially because... I love Magneto. Um, to be honest, I think what makes a good villain is somebody that you can kind of see his point of view, you know? Same with Doctor Doom. Doctor Doom does not consider himself a villain, you know, for the most part, and neither does his loyal subjects that he rules over. So, you know, is he really a villain? He is, but at the same time, it depends on whose point of, 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 of view. Something that I read a long time ago, back when Wizard had a magazine, I know, Wizard, um, they put out this book called The Dark Book, which was, which was a book about nothing but villains, and I read that whole thing, but at the very end, uh, I don't know the like word form of form of word, uh, what they said, but the general gist was, without villains, we wouldn't have, have heroes, you know? And well, super he 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 heroes. So I think that that's pretty cool, man. You gotta respect the villains, cause without them, we wouldn't have com 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 comic books, or we would, but they would be boring as fuck. So, moving on though, some more Marvel Legends. Picked up the Red Goblin. Um, the only other figure, two figures that I really want from this wave is the uh, Silver Sable and Night Thrasher. Um, both were characters that I read back in the nine, nine, 90s that I liked. Um, Night Thrasher is such an obscure one too, but I'm going to have to buy the entire wave because I need to build Kingpin. So, But the Red Goblin, he just looks badass. I love Carnage, I love these symbiotes. Symbiotes, not symbiotes freaking Venom movie, um, and I thought, I thought he, he would just, just look cool, man, although, to be fair, I'm probably gonna take this, uh, piece off here, well, out, and see if it'll fit on my Carnage figure, because I think that that would look better on, on him, or maybe even my, uh, Spider Carnage, but, yeah, very excited to have this, then, the big one for Marvel Legends is something that I as soon, soon, soon as I saw the ads for it, I fucking wanted. And I didn't think I was going to find one, especially find one in, in person at the store. And it's the Walmart exclusive, Worthy Cap. So, um, thing is, I found two. There were three there, and I bought two. One to open up, which is going to be this one, and, and one to keep sealed. And put onto my wall, which I need to do still. But yeah, worthy cap. Um, I'm not gonna say any more about him, just in case people have not seen Avengers. But yeah, this figure so hard to find, and it is positively the best looking cap figure I have seen yet, uh, based on the Marvel Cinematic Universe. You know, uh, right down to the scales on the well, chainmail scales on the uh, suit, like in that maskless head head sculpt uh the uh 
10 year and anniversary one looked awesome. This one looks way better. So very happy to have this, especially because in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, Cap is my favorite, man. And I love Cap anyways, even in the actual comic books. He's he's in my top, I would say, three, maybe four heroes of, uh, uh, of all time. You know, everybody's got to have that a boy, boy scout. And some people like Superman, I like Cap. Even though, some of the books, you realize he's not a total, you know, boy scout. So, and that's about it for my action figures in horror, except for one thing. Now, not to get too personal, you know, it's just because, you know, nobody else really needs to know, or really even cares I'm I I'm 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 sure you know but um my mom died a year and a half back and lay in and in this past Chris Chris Christmas was very hard um especially because it was the first one you know without her um way back in the day um I loved my com my comic books when I was little little you know I was about 10, I think, and I, I was, you know, infatuated with Wolverine, and I still am. Um, she let us pick out something for Christmas that we knew that we were going to, to get. Um, and, uh, damn fireworks. Uh, sorry, they're uh, shooting off fireworks right, right now, so my apologies if it's loud. But anyways, um... One of the fondest Christmases that I spent with her, that I remember to this day, was I remember going to the store and seeing this giant save, 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 saber tooth, giant cyclops, and giant wolverine figures from Toy, Toy, Toy Biz. This was back when they were like nor, nor, normally just five inch toys. Well, I really wanted the Wolverine, so I asked for him, you know? Little did I know she would also pick me up Sabretooth, because she knew that Sabretooth was his arch nemesis. So Christmas morning, I opened them, and it was a bigger box than I remembered. That's because she had taped both of them together. So I had both, and I was just like, oh my god! Well, uh, you know, fast forward 30, sorry... 27 years, and I actually still have that, you know, Wolverine. Um, I don't have Sabretooth, though, which always kind of bummed me out. Well, I still don't have Sabretooth, but I went to Salvation Army, and I found brand new sealed still, and they marked it at at 20 bucks, which I thought was kind of ridiculous, but whatever. It's Salvation Army. Why is something $20? But anyways, they had sealed brand new Wolverine and oh and here's the older tag too from Toys R Us $9.99 so I didn't have a lot growing up um, my mom was the mother of five kids and when I got him anything that I got I cherished and I still do and seeing this I knew I had to to have it so and yeah it was really cool but that's it that's all my action figure and horror pickups for the month of june uh not a lot but definitely quality um i hope that i find more horror in the future but that's all right so anyways thanks for watching and on, and, and, uh, and until next time have a good night and i love you mom